Don't put that in there. <laughs> I won't. Welcome back to my channel. That's assuming that some of you actually came back. So like I mentioned in the last video, I'm actually going to be taking you back to school with me as I go and try and find some of my lost artwork. But before that, I thought why not take a little nostalgic trip and remember some of my school days. They definitely don't keep me awake every night. <laughs> I was cute until maybe the age of five. Aww. And then it just went downhill from there, to be honest. Here is a photo of what I looked like when I was nine. Yikes. Let me tell you one thing. It was not easy growing up looking like the love child of Chucky and Bugs Bunny. That was weirdly specific. Whilst I was in my attic looking for these photos, I also came across this little like diary that I kept. I thought, why not look through and see what was going through six-year-old Holly's head? Where is six-year-old Holly's diary? Found it. First entry says, I borrowed a troll from Jadine. I licked it. For the sake of everyone, I hope that's a spelling mistake and I actually liked it. I also did this delightful drawing of a troll. It was summer and now it's winter. See, I've always had a thing about the seasons. At school, we play in the leaves with your wellies. Who's wellies? I got a keyboard spelled C-E-E-B-O-R-D. Oh, and that's it. So that's what was going through six-year-old Holly's head. As you can see, not a lot more than what's going through it now. So at my first school, we'd have certificate assemblies. You know, you'd be congratulated with a certificate on a really good piece of work. They were something to be proud of because they showed you did something good. So here is my certificate. This certificate is awarded to Holly Spencer for just being Holly. <laughs> Literally says just being Holly. Come on, just imagine it now. So has Holly done any good work recently? Maybe she's won a sporting event. Mm. I mean, she must have done something good. Mm. Well, what can we give her a certificate for? Well, just existing, I guess. I literally got a certificate for just existing. Like, they couldn't find anything better that I have done other than just being me and not dying. I mean my biggest achievement. Because I'm weak and my body kind of wants to end it, passing out is a regular occurrence for me. So obviously there have been times in school when I have passed out. So I thought I'd share my pain. I'm not good with blood, needles, anything medical. I'm out like a light, which is, you know, not the weirdest thing. But for me, I don't even have to see it to pass out. One time I fainted during English, not because I'd seen blood, but because we were reading Animal Farm and the thought of chickens getting killed was too much for me. Why am I so weak? It wasn't even that graphic. Everyone else was coping just fine. And there I am at the back, like trying not to pass out. And I decided, you know, I need to leave because I don't want to cause a scene. Even when I'm passing out, I'm still socially awkward. <laughs> Another diary. I used to write in this diary when I went on school trips away for like a week or so. First started writing in this when I was on the Isle of Wight trip when I was nine. I remember very clearly how unhappy I was with one of the teacher's decisions on that trip. I was really annoyed. Instead of complaining to the teachers like a normal person, me being the passive aggressive monster that I am, wrote a very strongly worded diary entry and left it open on my bed so that the teachers could see it. This is for our year seven trip to Germany. I wrote, the disco was amazing. All the girls wore dresses and the boys didn't even bother to dress up. <laughs> Next entry is Germany. <laughs> So as you can see, I struggled as much throughout childhood as I do now. I feel like that gives you an insight into what my childhood was like. I have a lot more childhood stories and traumas. Maybe I could film another video about that, but I'll leave it at that for now. And I will insert the footage from when I went back to school to try and find my artwork. It is freezing and I am going to die. <laughs> Weird, yeah, we look a bit weird. We don't even go here anymore. <laughs> a little bit suspicious. Like twice. Because <laughs> we were here last week as well. It just makes it slightly worse. You know, we can be hobby. Everyone. Have you shown little lady? No. You wanna detach her? Little lady. This is little lady. Maddie got her for me and she's from New Orleans. She brings me so much love, she's joy, and happiness. Um, bring sunshine and calmness to your life when others are trying to ruin it. And I need that. So I have her hanging in my car. Does she have legs? Look, she does. Oh my god, ew, that's kind of weird. Hey. Little lady, you should <laughs> not. <laughs> don't be mean. Stop! Oh, kind of <laughs> Where's Robbie? I don't understand. There he is. Ah. I don't know. I just hoped he'd come if I said that. Hi! Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you want to sit on my lap? <laughs> Say hi to the little lady. <laughs> How Strike. you doing, girl? <laughs> I need your honest opinion. What do you think of her legs? Because Maddie's freaked out. <laughs> They're quite sexy. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hey. Okay, let's go. Whoop, whoop. 
Are you excited? I'm excited. <laughs> Update, my work is still mostly lost. Found one thing, um, but other than that, my artwork is lost and my DT is also lost. So that wasn't really productive and we'll probably be back. I to took come. your... <laughs> Wait, did you what? <laughs> Why did you take my work? I don't like leaving Why it there because they're going to lose okay. it. Okay, Robbie also stole some of my coursework. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know you have that. <laughs> yeah. matching outfits. Oh. Any updates? Uh, I got a drawing book. So other than the fact that we got to play in some snow, that was a completely unsuccessful trip. Oh well, it's just all my A-level work. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed reliving my childhood with me and sharing the trauma of my lost work. I wonder whether I can say bye this time. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you back again in my next video. In my next video? You're not gonna be in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you back again for my next video. Bye. I can't believe I actually managed to say bye this time. We're improving kids. Why am I such a dad? Da 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 da